can't be too careful these days. The world has gone bloody mad. I'll take two. In 2018, an adaption of the 2013 Tomb Raider reboot was brought to the screens and starred Alicia Vikander God, as Lara Croft. And she is, I mean, I mean casting-wise, I think it's a good choice. However, my problem with the film ar just arrived immediately as soon as I started seeing the trailers. The rebooted 2013 Tomb Raider... Um, I'll talk about it in another video more in detail, but it is a fantastic reboot. It's one of the best reboots of a franchise. And uh, what they did with Lara Croft and the Mythos and the, the, what they did with Tomb Raider was fantastic. I absolutely love the original Tomb Raider games, and I've been absolutely loving the most recent remastering of Tomb Raider 1 to 3. But the Tomb Raider reboot trilogy... Uh, Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider are still very good games. Very, very damn good games. Um, of course, they have their issues, but storyline-wise, I really enjoyed what they did with Lara. And when I say enjoyed, I mean I liked the story. I didn't enjoy all the punishment she went through. I'm not a sadistic masochist. <laughs> but in the game, Lara starts as very inexperienced very uh, she gets she takes some hits she gets battered I mean the film version of it starts in a very boring way but already making out that Lara Croft is this hard badass um, and that was my problem with the film first and foremost was that Lara Croft started off in the movie as a straight badass you know doing all this um, racing stuff on her bike around the city and uh, like just being very serious and stern. I preferred the version in the game and the intro to the game. They should have started the film like the game. Start it with the shipwreck and then just fill in the blanks with some very quick flashbacks here and there but keep the story going forward on Lara Croft growing as a person. It's not until the end of the rebooted Tomb Raider game where Lara um, really starts to, you know, she loses the fear and she starts to kick a lot of ass. Not that I'm saying that um, there's anything wrong with, you know, her being strong female lead and whatnot in the movie, but it's just character growth is important in stories, and her starting off the film as a badass and ending the film as a badass is just, well... For a uh, for a, a rebooted origin story, it's quite it's quite lame, really, in my opinion. One of the most pivotal moments of the remake game, in, uh, the sorry, the rebooted game, is a particular scene. Gotta be careful how I word it because of YouTube. Um, but she gets attacked by a bloke, and it's the first time she kills somebody. It's in self-defense, and the dude absolutely deserves it, 100%. But it's very emotional for her. She's taken a life, and it's very well done in the games. Very well acted. It's very well. It's very well presented, and it's a very pivotal moment. That is not in the movie, and all the struggle she goes through, like getting all at like, she get like the way the game starts, where she's upside down, and you have to swing to set on fire and get it at that cave. That would have been an amazing intro to the movie. And I don't want to hear people say, "No, oh, well, you can adapt video games to movies." Yes, you can. Yes, you can. If it's a story, it can be adapted. Changes will need to be made, of course. Small changes, not large. Look what they did with The Last of Us most recently. The Last of Us TV show is one of the best video game adaptions. It takes everything you need from the video game, in, more importantly the story. They did change a couple of the bits, like the cordyceps, there's no, uh, there's no spores and stuff, but I can live without that, that's fine. And they changed another few elements, but they added in parts. You, th it can be done, and um, I mean, obviously, don't do what Halo did. I see the Halo TV show is another one where they 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 should have just followed the game. If you follow the game, then you're winning. But um, I'm digressing, obviously. Um, but the Tomb Raider film, it just falls very short because they did not. Just if it's not broke, don't fix it. And the survival, uh, the survivor element, and and like the dark scariness and storm infested way the island was in the Tomb Raider game would have been an amazing setting for the film. But in the film, again, I haven't watched it in a very long time. But 
if I remember rightly, she gets roped in with a lot of other people mining for this thing. To just You just chucked in a load of cast members and a load of extras that you didn't need. You did not need that. All you need is, a, uh, is like, one or two antagonists against Lara. You just needed Jonah and a couple of survivors. Um, obviously, people to get... Some people to get offed. And then you just needed to keep the budget where the budget's needed. You didn't need all that extra fluff and all that extra crap. That's why every single time, more often than not, people keep trying to adapt these uh, video games to, to movies, they fail. They're trying to put their own story in. Don't do it. It's like the Resident Evil movies. I mean, yeah, they're fun action movies. Of course they are. But how difficult is it to take the story from the game and just change it up a tiny bit, a teeny weeny bit, and then put it on the screen? It can't be that bloody hard, especially if you're a professional writer should be able to do it but that's just my rant I just um, I picked up the Tomb Raider collection for like cause I mean I, I mean I'm one of those gamers I buy like games I love I buy them multiple times on multiple consoles and I uh, got all the the reboot trilogy on Steam for like a tenner with all the DLCs for everything um, I thought that's a damn good price I haven't got them on PC so I'm gonna get them so there you go so I'll be playing through those and I did fire it up um, the night before I recorded this, uh, just to start it and play it, and then just still now, Tomb Raider 2013 is still a damn good game. But the movie is just nowhere near as good as the game, and I I wanted it to be as good as the game. I really wanted to like it, but unfortunately, it's just it just misses the mark. But let me know in the comments down below what you think. Did you enjoy the Tomb Raider film? Um, did do you like the Tomb Raider 2013 reboot game? And as always, thank you very much for watching.